So, you know his last name is Buttafuoco, right? I mean, no relation, but come on, I'm supposed to change my last name to Buttafuoco? I don't think so. Eight years I'm engaged to this guy. You know when he sets the date? Yeah, when his microwave dies. How come your friends haven't given you one of those shower things yet? It's a microwave. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Thanks so much. Okay. And this one is from my mother. Well, please. Thank you. Jackie, you can't put all the yellow ones in the center like that. She's going to look like a peep. L let me do it. Hello. Who owns the hair salon? Hello. Who's the former Miss New Jersey? You know, first of all, you need to get over the 80s, and second of all, it's not like you and Miss America. <laughs> I was first runner-up, Jackie, and the only reason I didn't win was because the other chick had lupus. How am I supposed to compete with that? It's a bassinet. It's a bassinet. Wedding shower, baby shower. How long you think I'm going to live? So you know the deal with Lou and me. How once we got married and combined our incomes, I could stop working like a crazy person and finally go back to school? How long have I known you, Bob? How long has that been the plan? How many times do we have to go through this, Ma? You know I don't want to have kids right away. I want to go to school. You know I want to go to school. I want to make something out of my life. What are you going to make? What is she going to make, huh? What is she going to make? 32 years now you want to make something in your life? You want me to tend bar forever? No, of course not. I want you to get married and have babies the way God intended. How do you know what God intends for me? If I told you that he came to me in a vision, then would you give me a grandchild? Oh. Lou, would you tell her, please? Lou? Lou! You're 32 years old, Lid. What are you gonna do? Go to school for like four years, graduate when you're 38? 36. Uh, uh, when are you gonna start having kids? When you're 50? No, I'm gonna wait till I'm 65 and you're dead. Oh, nice, Lid. Nice thing to say at your wedding shower, with my mother sitting right over there. What's your point? My point is that your clock's ticking. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Do you hear me ticking, Lou? Because I don't hear me ticking. Maybe it's you. I'm the man. I can have kids till I'm 100. I'm the only one that'll sleep with you now. Who are you going to get to sleep with you when you're 100? Well, you look at it realistically. You graduate when you're 36, and then what? You're going to want to get a job. And then you're going to want to get promotions and move up and stuff. Then you're going to have to quit in a year to have kids. Then you know what happens? You're going to resent those kids because you gave up your career for them. That's not healthy. This way you got nothing. You got nothing to give up, and you can just be a good mother. So I'll give you two versions of the story. The way I wish it would have gone. When the moon hits your the beach, it's about the and the way it went. What'd he do? So I look at him. This person I've been with for eight years of my life this person I love and I basically tell him to go screw and break up with him right there right in front of both our mothers you think that would be the worst of it huh look what you've done to your mother why is she shaking so much I think she's allergic to me being single oh. Sorry. It's okay, Aunt Rita. Only married people need towels. <laughs> Sorry.
CBS Sunday this fall. You gotta keep moving, you know? You gotta go different places, learn different things. But not everybody likes change. What do you mean it's your last Wednesday? Starting next week, I have class on Wednesday. Well, what about your nails? I'll have to make a different appointment. Oh, now we're an appointment? What about ritual? What about tradition? You know, once a week, you bring the Ensmans, I do your nails, we catch up. Jackie, I talk to you ten times a day. What do we need to catch up on? <laughs> Lydia, would you stop distracting her? My nails look like chiclets. You know, all of a sudden, it's like your life's not good enough for you anymore. Like, like we're not good enough for you anymore. I think it's like a midlife crisis. I think you should shut up because you're five months older than me. And first you break up with Lou, now you're doing all this stuff. So, what? You think I made a mistake? You think I should just, what, marry Lou and have a baby a year till I'm 40 and then what? You know, host candle parties and save for our annual trip down Belmar? First of all, stop slamming Belmar, okay? Second of all, no, I don't think you made a mistake, okay? I'm the one who's watching your back. So pull your panties out of your ass and watch who you're talking to, Lydia, okay? Switch. Because I didn't make a mistake. Fine. You know, just because you love someone doesn't mean you have to be with them. Whatever. And just because you happen to like babies and candle parties doesn't mean you have to have them right now on cue, like a friggin' dog. Lydia, what are you doing? I don't know. I just want to go to school, all right? I know it's not a big deal. People do it every day, but it's a big deal to me. It's the first thing I've ever wanted my whole life that has nothing to do with anybody else. And if Lou doesn't respect that, well, then he doesn't respect me. You know, I figured it out the other day, and since high school, I've had 58 jobs. I've been a puppet, a popper, a parrot, a poet, a pun and a king. I've you can pretty much name any crappy job in the tri-state area, and I've either served, cleaned, filed, straightened, or stocked there. Granted, I've never been unemployed, not even for one day. And come to think of it, the only time I had less than two jobs at once was when I worked for that gynecologist with the lisp, who, by the way, could do a cesarean in his sleep but needed five people to help him use the fax machine. Fifty-eight jobs, and the whole time all I wanted to do was go to college. Ever since I was five years old and I went to visit my cousin Tony Ann at school, I've dreamed about going to college. About lying on one of those enormous lawns and reading something old and Russian or maybe just sitting around discussing philosophy with some intriguing foreign exchange student who called me Lydia. I'm the only person I know who's literally dreamed about cramming for an exam. So, I took the money I saved for the wedding and as of 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, I am a full-time college freshman. <laughs> blah, 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 where's my frigging drink? Victor, you know the drill. You get loud, you leave. End of story. Who do you think you are? You're done. You're flagged. Go home. See, I know who you are. You're done. I see beneath the very thin... Go home, Victor. Bitchy veneer. And you, young lady, know nothing. Go home. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. <sighs> Gotta wonder what kind of life this poor guy has. There but for the grace of God, right? It's the next one, Victor! Buonasera, senorina, buonasera. It is time to say goodnight to Napoli. Did I tell you I'm taking photography? I think I'd like that. I like to see things in pictures. Well, I've never done anything creative my whole life, so... We'll see. Except for the place where you paint the mugs.